Alrighty, now uh, that you've went through Torchmate University and have a pretty good handle on Torchmate, I'm going to kind of get into some sign making uh, basics I think will help you out. So we're going to come over here to layout and we're going to go to material size. And this is where it brings up a dialog box where we can say if we got a certain size metal, we can tell we got a piece of metal. Uh, let's say that it's 24 inches long, 12 inches. We found it in the scrap pile and uh it's just it's not going to cost us a whole lot to make so we're going to go ahead and and create that size so 12 to 24. all right uh i'm going to show you a couple different methods here one we're going to go ahead and create a text and i'm just going to kind of click over here i'm going to i'm going to write enjoy as a one word and then i'm going to go ahead and click down here click again and make another one the I'm gonna do it again little one more time now I already knew that was the font I wanted but uh, if I wanted to I could go ahead and I just double click this thing and I can highlight it and then I can come over here to my and notice my toolbar changes to fonts and I can have it, it'll show right here I mean, there's just tons of different fonts. These are all Corel Draw fonts. These are all machine fonts. I mean, there's just about anything you can imagine for fonts. But I'm I'm gonna go with this to start with. All right. Now, um, essentially, I can go ahead and I can resize these things by just clicking, dragging them around, clicking on handle. I can make them look like this if I want to. If I don't, if I do something I don't like, here's my favorite button: undo. Right. So we can go ahead and we can resize things. We can make them a certain size right up here too. We want them all to be, oh, let's say, oh, my bad, that's location right here. Say so we want them all to be three inches tall. See that? We just come over here, highlight that, three inches tall. All right, so a couple different things about the plasma cutter, all right? One thing you need to know right away is that whatever is outlined in black is what you're going to cut out. So in this case, I would be cutting these words out. So I would cut out individual letters, and I have to figure out what to do with them. And that's maybe what we want to do, maybe not what we want to do. So another methodology here is actually to take these and slide them together and kind of join them together um, with the software. That way, when it cuts out, it cuts out as one whole word. And then if I want to, I can join all the words together into a sign. And that's a lot easier to mount than trying to have all these individual letters and pick them out of the table. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take and we have to take to a range and we need to make the text to graphics. What that does is now it makes each individual letter its own thing. Now don't move these around too much and uh, if you just use your arrow keys after you select them you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard and you can actually zoom these things in until they just touch a little bit. Now if you want to you can move them up and down and whatever a little bit. And if you don't like exactly how that is, right, another thing you can do is double click the whole word. And that brings up, or a whole letter, that brings up node editing. So I can actually come over here and left click and drag that node over to here so it overlaps it. Doesn't matter how far or where, just so it overlaps it. We do need, uh, I like to have things touching at least one spot, if not two, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drag some of these over. And I'm going to be kind of quick about it just in the interest of time. You can play around with this if you want to uh, and really edit all your nodes to make them perfect. But you'll get the drift of it pretty quick, I think. All right. That's a little sketchy, but I'll go with it. All right. Now that I have all of these basically touching... I can go ahead and highlight them all and you can see these right here I don't want these I want these to go bye bye so to do that I'm gonna come over here to the side and I'm gonna find weld tools and I'm gonna to apply a basic weld and when I do that you'll see it goes bye bye and all I'm left with is one full word so if I cut this out it would go around and cut off the word and life would be good so I can repeat this process you right and I can join all of these things kind of together, you know, if I wanted to. 
And in this case, these would be held together like this if I just took right away and I simply just said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and weld all this together. See all that stuff? I want it to go bye-bye. Bam. Now, I don't know if I really like that. I might change that around a little bit, but I think you get the drift. So that's one way. Now, the other way is to think about things. Uh, if we go here to shape and just create a rectangle right here. And pretend that rectangle, that black rectangle, let's go down here and just make it a color, green. I like green. You make that green rectangle, and you think of that as your piece of metal, right? Just a tiny little piece of metal like that. Come over here to the arrow key, bring your word over here. Now, understand this is a totally different methodology I'm doing right now. So sometimes when I click, I lose that, and I might have to highlight everything, okay? So... That's that. I can't find where the letters are at, but if I left click and I drag a box around everything, it highlights everything. Now, to get those letters just to kind of cut through that piece of metal, I come up to um, arrange and I make the path. And it says, hey, you can't make the path unless it's an object. Okay, okay, okay. I better come over here to arrange and I better make this thing right here, this text to graphics. My bad. And look at that. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can make the path. Boom. Cuts it out. Now, this is good. The L falls out. The I falls out. The T, the L, the E. That's great. That, that sign would cut just fine. Right? But what happens if you have a letter that's like a B or this O, for example? Right? So, what we're going to do is we'll just... Take this right here, maybe, possibly. And rather than that, we're going to write enjoy, just so you can kind of see that O situation. And I'm going to go ahead and make that box again. Sorry, right here. Let's make another one. This one I'll make blue. It doesn't matter, just to show you the concept here. Bring my enjoy over there. Drop it. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Maybe I'll make it even look like this for fun. All right, highlight the whole works. Where do I go? You know it. Arrange text to graphics. Take this thing right here. Arrange, make the path. Okay, again, E, N, J, all good. But this O, if I cut this out, the whole inside of the O goes. And if I look at the sign, it's going to have like a huge open gapping, you know, gaping hole in it. And I really would like to see this O part right here kind of stay together, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that. I'm going to bring this, uh, I'm going to undo one more time to get it so I can move that out of the way. So I just got my letters, right? And so what we do is we call it, we, we call it making a bridge, right? And what it is is we just make some rectangles to like create little bridges right here to hold this together. So I'm going to go over to rectangle. I'm just going to make a little rectangle here. I'm going to make that a different color. Sounds good. And here, the size of the bridge is critical. So you want to make sure your font and your design is all the size to start with. And the last thing you do is put the bridge in there because we don't want the bridge to be bigger or smaller, basically. So I like to have a bridge at least 200, 200 thou or 0.2 right, wide. That's, that's important to me. As far as the length goes, that is not important to me. It's whatever I really want it to be, right? So that can even move. But I'm going to come over here to select. Now, if I want to, I can actually duplicate this if I want to put one bridge here and one bridge here. I don't have to make a bunch of rectangles. I just go Control D on the keyboard. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And I can always delete those later if I don't use them. So now I got a bridge right in here. I'll take another one of these bridges. I'll put them in here. I like it. I'm going to hold the O in two spots that way. I don't need this one anymore, and I don't need this one anymore. And now if I take this bad boy and I highlight all of it, you can see I got this going right here, and that's what I want to get rid of when it's all said and done. So I'm going to come over here, and you're going to see if I use a basic weld right here, what that does is that's great, but it welds this together. and That's not what I want to do for this particular design. Okay, If I use this middle one, it's an and weld, right? It's going to say, hey, I'm going to get rid of everything but that tiny piece. Uh, again, not what I want to do. So 
For bridges, this third one is usually the ticket, okay? And what that does is it deletes those little chunks away, but you also have to come back to this and delete these other pieces out. So I just select it and I hit delete on the keyboard. And now you'll see much, much better. Take this enjoy, put it over on your sign, highlight the whole works, and guess what? Machine, oh, not machine, arrange, make path. And now if you see this sign, you're going to get these little cutouts here. It's going to look much, much better than just one big gaping hole in it. So that is how you use bridges. That's how you basically break text. That's how you put text together. Uh, I realize the video is a little long, but uh, I think it gives you the basics of working with text, which when you're on a CNC plasma cutter, that really is, it's all about making signs and stuff like that. It's a whole lot of fun. Creativity is only limited by your imagination. Alrighty now, live the dream. Thank you.